Hi, and welcome to Business Automated. In this video, I will show you how to quickly generate QR codes out of Airtable and Integromat. Let's get to it. The first step is to create a table with following columns. Name, for the name of our QR code, value, which will be the value contained inside of the QR code. Quite commonly, these are URLs, but you can also use any text or numbers. The next column is a column called attachment, where we will receive the file from Integromat with our QR code. The next column is a checkbox. I'll explain in a second the function of this checkbox. And the final column is called last modified with the field type last modified. This is a technical column that is required for Integromat to know that you have modified this information and that this information should be exported. We have created one more view inside of this table, which is called code to generate. And in this view, we are only having the codes that are supposed to be generated. This way, we can have Integromat look only in this view and generate the codes only when we are ready to send them out for creation. The next step is to create a scenario in Integromat. We'll start with an empty scenario and select Airtable module. As the trigger, we will use watch records. We need to select the correct base and the correct table. As the trigger field, we will use last modified and we will select view codes to generate, which only includes the code that we want to send for generation. Formula field will leave empty and will increase the maximum number of records returned at the time to 50. Choose where to start, we'll select from now on, means that every record that has been modified from now on will be exported to Integromat. The next element is barcode module. There are many different types of barcodes that we can select, we'll select QR code. As text, we'll select the value from our Airtable record. As the name of our barcode, as the name for the file, we'll select the name from Airtable and we'll keep it as .png. Number of padding uh, is optional, but I usually like to have some white space around, so I'll select two for the width and height. And in scale, if you keep scale as one, it will be basically one pixel per one dot on the QR code. In my case, I'd like to have them slightly bigger, so I'm increasing the scale to 10. For the correction level, we can also select the highest correction level, which means that the bigger part of barcode can be destroyed, but it still will be possible to read that barcode. The downside of error correction is that we can use less characters inside of our barcode. The number of characters that we can use uh, in this correction of uh, level L, which is the lowest one, is uh, 4300. And in the highest level of correction, it's only 2000. So it reduces the number of characters that we can encode by half. From the barcode module to upload our barcode to Airtable, we need to use intermediary step, which will be Google Drive. And we will select upload file and we will upload to Google Drive our barcode. We need to select the location where we will be uploading the barcode. Source of the file will be automatically mapped. And after that, we need to make sure that this file that we have just uploaded is possible to be shared with uh, external parties such as uh, Airtable. 
as the file ID will select the ID from the previous module. We can keep the role as a reader and as user type we'll select anyone. This means that anyone will be able to access that link. Now the final module will update the record to insert our QR code into record in our, in our table. And here we'll update the attachment field to add our file that we've just created. Unfortunately, we cannot use the share link from the get link module because the share link will not allow us to download the file. That is why we need to use a special download link, which has export equals download and leaves a space for the ID of the file, which will not come from the module share link, but will come from the module upload file. For the file name, we can use the file name that we have created in the generate barcode. For the record ID, we need to select the record of ID from the beginning of uh, the scenario. Now the scenario will be ready, so let's create the barcode. We need to move to the grid view and send one of the barcodes to generate. We can see that our barcode was generated. Let's do this for the remaining two. When we click and unclick, we're modifying this record, which will trigger this for Integromat to process that record as well. All right, so here we have our barcodes generated straight away from Airtable. So this way we can create barcode for any type of value that we would like and automatically have it generated through Airtable. We can set this scenario to scheduling to make sure that Airtable to make sure that an Integromat checks for the modified records in Airtable within a given timing, let's say every 15 minutes, every day or every selected day of the week. All right, I hope that was helpful for you and if you like the video, please subscribe.